the top stories for the hour. Czech Republic ambassador to Ethiopia says Ethiopia and Czech seek to enhance cooperation across various fields. And uh, Ethiopia and Kenya forged a partnership to empower pastoralist communities. You are watching ABC World from the capital, Addis Ababa, where we bring you the latest uh, top stories from around the world. Do stay tuned. Now the news in form. Czech Republic's ambassador to Ethiopia, Miroslav Kosek, said Ethiopia and Czech have growing interest to boost their cooperation on diverse areas. Ambassador Kosek said Ethiopia and Czech have enjoyed long-standing diplomatic ties covering a range of areas, including mining, and hydrology and development cooperation. Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed visited the Czech Republic and held discussion in November last year with his Czech counterpart Peter Filia to further strengthen the bilateral ties between the two countries. Earlier, Filia had visited Ethiopia for three days, he noted. During Abiy's visit, they explored cooperation in agriculture, tourism and culture. High-level visits are crucial for enhancing relations, the ambassador noted, with cooperation extending to areas like mining and hydrology. They aim to broaden cooperation in cultural exchange, identifying new areas of mutual interest, and political consultations are also scheduled in Prague next month. Meanwhile, the Czech Republic prioritizes Ethiopia and its development cooperation, focusing on rural development and food security, while preserving landscapes sustainably. Meanwhile, the president of Jijiga University, Bashir Abdullahi Mohammed, said Ethiopia's quest for seaports will enhance mutual benefits and trade ties in the entire region. Speaking at a panel discussion jointly organized by Jijiga University and the Institute of Foreign Affairs, Bashir highlighted the significance of a seaport in facilitating trade integration and reducing the high costs associated with exports and imports. He also stressed that its role in attracting foreign investments and boosting trade activities, particularly in the eastern part of Ethiopia, thereby benefiting the local population. Bashir affirmed the university's commitment to supporting Ethiopia's efforts by conducting research and engaging in diplomatic activities aimed at realizing the country's goal of securing a seaport. Meanwhile, Dars Kedar Taye, Director General of European American Affairs at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, stressed Ethiopia's urgent need for a seaport due to geopolitical, economic and security reasons. He highlighted the international disparity between landlocked countries with seaports and those without urging scholars to support Ethiopia's efforts. Likewise, Taye proposed inclusive diplomacy collaboration with regional organizations and engagement with scholars and media as key strategies for achieving Ethiopia's seaport goal.
And finally, Kenya's State Department head for livestock, uh, Bernard Kimoro, emphasized that uh, Ethiopia and Kenya are collaborating closely to tackle the challenges posed by climate change and to enhance the well-being of pastoralist communities. He emphasized that both Ethiopia and Kenya have mutual pastoralist communities who rely on shared resources. Currently, a project named De-Risking Inclusion and Value Enhancement for Pastoralists is underway. This initiative spans across the Horn of African region, encompassing four countries. Bernand told Ethiopia news agency that Kenya, Ethiopia, Somalia, and Djibouti are actively engaged in a project to aid pastoralists in reducing livestock losses by offering timely support for purchasing feeds. He stressed aiding pastoralists with loans or grants for better forage and business boosting resilience to climate shifts. Let's have a look at uh, we have a uh, long-term uh, kind of uh, cooperation. We had a project that was called the Resilience Pastoral Livelihood Support Project, which was also uh, Ethiopia and Kenya. Um, the fact that uh, we can have joint markets, for example, where pastoralists can market their animals is a, a very important aspect, because animals are always moving. So if there's market in Ethiopia, we can, we can take our animals to Ethiopia and we are able to sell them. Uh, likewise, also animals from Ethiopia can also be sold in Kenya in terms of forages or feeds. Commenting on Ethiopia's tree planting program, Kimoro said that there is currently a, nation, a, nation, a national policy to plant 15 billion trees in Kenya. Uh, trees have a number of benefits, uh, including also storing the, the, the carbon in the soil. Uh, which you can actually sell uh, because you are now in the carbon market system uh, through the, uh, the, 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 the UN system that is addressing climate change. We have what we call the Article 6. Uh, so where we have agroforestry, we have tree planting. This is very important that we can also go into the carbon market, uh, which can also be an added advantage in terms of uh, economies of the pastoral areas. And now, a reminder of the top stories once again. Czech Republic ambassador to Ethiopia says Ethiopia and Czech seek to enhance cooperation across various fields. And Ethiopia and Kenya forge a partnership to empower pastoralist communities. You've been watching ABC World News from the capital Addis Ababa. The voice of Pan Africanism with us once again. I'm Binia Gutana. Do stay tuned with the remaining ABC World program. And goodbye from me. Enjoy the rest of the day.